So today is Saturday the 2nd of July. I have literally officially moved into mine. I say officially. Um, this is how my living room is looking like. There are bags and shit everywhere. Um, and it is driving me up the wall, but there is method to this madness. So basically, I'm feeling really hot and flustered. I'm wearing all black tracksuits as well and on a warm day at that. Curry's, which is where I've bought my cooker from. I was called yesterday at work to say that they would be here at mine today between 11.50 to 3.50. So I was thinking, yeah, I've got enough time. So I was like, you know, taking my time, packing my last bits and bobs at my mum's. And then I got a call at nine to say, we're trying to get into your property, but we can't get in. And I was like, well, shit, I was given the wrong time yesterday. So luckily for me, they had another job about 10 minutes away. So they've gone to do, they went to do that. And so I had to like rush, jump in an Uber, get here, drop my last bits and bobs. And obviously I'm just going to stay here. And now I'm waiting for them. They're, they're on the way. And literally, I'm not going to give you all a house tour. I can't lie. I'm really not, but as y'all can see, like this, my living room, this is how it's looking like. Um, I'm trying to film in a way where it doesn't kind of bay out where I live, but yeah. My kitchen, I'll give y'all a glimpse of my kitchen because you can't make out where I live simply by my kitchen, but it's cute, basically. Um, what had happened is, it's an error on my part. I had ordered this cooker from Curry's, not paying attention to the fact that it's electric. Don't want an electric one so they're gonna uninstall it take this away and then install it with a new one that i've ordered which is a gas cooker because i'm old school that's what i'm into i will show you obviously i've got bits and bobs that i've just kind of lumped here but for the most part the scheme of my kitchen is like gray white with like black kind of vibe so i'm really really loving it um, that's the only part of my house I'll be showing y'all, can't lie. I also have like this really, really cute balcony, which I'm not gonna show you, because if I show you, then it's just gonna make it so obvious where I live, and for me, safety is just the most important thing. Yesterday, my two besties, B and T, they were so amazing, they were so helpful. They are the reasons as to why you can see 101 bags in my living room. Um, T drives, B came as well with us, and we literally just took all of my bags and then dropped it here last night, and it's been so helpful, so, so helpful. So, literally today, um, first day, official day of being here, um, the removal men are gonna go to my mom's house. They only need to pick up four items, which is my wardrobe, uh, a set of drawers, my office chair, and I've got like a massive artificial plant. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I've worked out plant mom life is not for me. Like all the plants that I had died, so I dashed them away ages ago. My house, this beautiful, gorgeous flat that I currently have, I'm gonna doll it up with lots of like artificial plants. Sorry to disappoint y'all, but um, when something's not for me, I'ma just own it. So yeah, first day in, that's basically it. Um, I will give you lot a bit of a story. Oh, someone knocking. Don't think so. I'll give you a bit of a backstory. Never order from Wayfair. I've had a horrendous experience from Wayfair. Long story cut short, I ordered from them. They used a very, it's my first time ordering like furniture from them. Normally I would order like bits and bobs from them, like curtains, rugs and stuff. And I have no issues whatsoever with delivery. I ordered a bed from them, gorgeous bed fully assembled they used a very shit delivery service the delivery man didn't contact me until the morning that he wanted to deliver to say oh we're 20 minutes away i was like i'm at work there was a whole hoo-ha about that very stressful they put me through so much stress eventually um i managed to get a little bit of money back Eventually they rescheduled um, another day or whatever it may be and that was a whole hoo in itself. Long story cut short, the bed arrived in boxes. It wasn't fully assembled as described. Anyways, long story cut short, I was a little bit naughty and I've basically managed to get that bed for free. I won't go into detail as to how. Um, but also later on today, I found a very wonderful handyman on TaskRabbit. Like, if y'all ain't heard of TaskRabbit, yeah, this is not sponsored in any shape or form. TaskRabbit is absolutely amazing. TaskRabbit is the reason why I've managed to get 
the whole of my house painted. I found somebody on TaskRabbit to do that. I found somebody on TaskRabbit to put up my curtains, like install a curtain rod, put up my curtains, and at the same man that put up my curtains is also coming today to fix my bed for him. And if it wasn't for him, I don't know how I'll be able to do the bed because ain't no way in hell I was gonna do that. So yeah, that's basically where we're at. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing like home content per se, but you know what? Now that I'm in my own space, oh, I love how the color pops on here. Oh my gosh, like filming in here is gonna be so crazy. Um, but now that I've got my own space, literally I'm gonna be putting out a variety of content. Like I'm so flipping excited. If y'all could smell what I'm smelling, I've got my peanut soup just slowly cooking here. I'm gonna allow for it to boil a little bit before I add my tomatoes to it. And then I've got my spinach and a goosey stew cooking up as well. Now, I don't know who's watching this, but wash your rice, yeah? Wash it. So this is the end product of everything that I've cooked this morning. We've got anwamu, which is basically, um, well, the English translation is oil rice, but essentially think about it as fried rice without using soy sauce. Um, and I've just put my own take on it. For the most part, most Ghanaians don't cook it with like prawns and mushrooms and everything in it. You can literally just, um, you know, uh, saute a little bit of, onions and garlic, um, add your rice and then add your water and season it up how you want. But I've added a variety of things in as you can see. Got my spinach and a goosey stew right here. Oh, camera's steaming up. And I've got my peanut soup right here. But yeah, I'm quite proud of myself. So I've moved into my own flat. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a whoa echo. It's cause I'm in an empty room. So this is basically, I've got like a very big living room area. Um, obviously for the most part I've unpacked all of my stuff. There's just a little bit of stuff there. But I've got this beautiful big space. Um, oh yeah, and my gorgeous backdrop plant. That I'll be using in future videos. Um, I'm not gonna give y'all a house tour because I just think it's very unnecessary. I'm a very private person, and also there's a lot of weirdos online where if I start to give a tour, you can kind of piece together where I live, and I don't want that. So, um, actually, let me sit down. So, y'all, yeah, like when I said sit down, literally, I'm just sitting on the floor because I don't have any furniture in my living room yet and i'm really excited to like slowly build up my place some of you may or may not know but i can be quite an impatient person i've always been somebody that like if i want to do something i want it done like right now however my lock journey <laughs> has taught me how to basically be patient and trust in a process and also this move is going to do exactly the same because it's been very interesting the journey for me personally because when I first viewed this property, it was like an absolute bomb site. So I was invited to view this property March 2022. Um, it was an absolute dump, I'm not gonna lie, but I could see the beauty in it. Like I could see that if this flat was to be mine, I would be able to do it up and build it up in a way that is suited to me. So anyway, I accepted this property and oh my gosh, so many things went wrong during the process of me accepting it but long story cut short listen what god's plan for you cannot be blocked and i picked up my keys for this flat on the 20th of may i believe it was and i moved into this flat on the 2nd of july so at time of filming this i don't even know what date it's then i don't have my phone on me but i believe it's probably like the 8th or the 9th 
of July, somewhere around that region. So I've been in this property for about a week now. And I'm so happy, I feel so at peace. As y'all can see, like my background is really bright. So my living room is green, light green as you can see. You can probably see a little bit of my hallway. It's like light purple. Um, my room is the same color. And the flooring is gray without that like, throughout. You can see the flooring here. So it's kind of the same ish throughout my hallway. My kitchen is very similar. Um, my room though is basically grey carpet but for me it was very important for me to make my space bright do you know what I mean because the, this property wasn't looking like how it's looking like right now um, a lot of money a lot of time a lot of stressfulness stressfulness has gone into this um, and I just love this space so much. I've got this beautiful, cute little private balcony, which I really love so much. And today the sun is shining, which is why I look like I'm glistening on camera. Um, but literally on the private balcony, there's like um, a washing line. So I've kind of got like my clothing hands up on there, but even the flooring there, um, I want to do it up. I'm thinking about maybe getting like artificial grass or something and then um doing it up so that eventually when i have people around and if the sun's out we can just kind of chill um on the balcony but yeah how am i finding it so far living by myself i'm loving it like a lot of people that know me well know that i'm i'm quite an independent person anyway like i solo travel all the time i take myself out all the time i pretty much really enjoy my own company so for me living by myself is so far so good sometimes the silence can be really deafening because keep in mind that i've lived at home like with my mom and dad and my brother all my life so yeah sometimes it's really really quiet but even then during those moments i appreciate the peace I think um, a few of the things that I have kind of missed is, you know, I miss the fact that my brother is not like literally next door because our rooms were like really close to each other. Um, and you know, I miss sometimes me having banter here and there with my parents, but I literally live about 20 minutes away from them. So it's not like I'm far away. And I'm honestly so excited for what is to come. Uh, one thing that, is kind of interesting for me is even though i'm quite an independent person obviously like when you live at home it's like if you don't do something then you know it's going to get done so for example when i was at home if i don't do the washing i know for sure that my brother or my dad is going to do it or i know that if my mom's gone out shopping she's going to come back home with like plantain and just pop it in my personal fridge and it's like now there's none of that so this first week has been very interesting in terms of me adapting to basically rely on myself for everything and i also have like a nine to five that i do so it's been interesting finishing my nine to five and then maybe i might need to go food shopping after or pick up a collection for a household item that i've purchased and whatnot but i think that for me this journey is going to be a very beautiful one it's going to allow for me to fully mature, fully be independent. And honestly, one thing that I will say is even though I've now moved out is I'm very happy that now has been the time for me to be able to move out. So I'm in my early 30s and I know that sometimes a lot of people are always in a rush to move out like as soon as possible. Obviously, if this had happened earlier, then cool. I mean, to be fair, I actually did have the opportunity to have moved out in my early 20s, but at the time I was absolutely skinned. Oh yeah, a lot of people from the States watch my videos. So skinned means broke, basically. You don't have money. Um, so that didn't happen. Whereas now, I just feel so blessed because on the 1st of July, I signed a contract at work, a permanent contract, because before that I was working as a temp and then on the 2nd of july i moved into my own flat so for me i just feel like july has been a month full of blessings and i just wanted to share that with you all and i also wanted to give y'all a, a couple of updates actually let me show you guys my first um housewarming gift hold on so crouch down here so my managers at work got me this it's so beautiful i actually don't know what plant it is but 
it's so gorgeous i love the color um and i've just popped it on my window ledge like it's absolutely stunning um i love it but i'm gonna be real with y'all when it dies it dies like i had plants before some of y'all that have been watching my videos for time would know that i had plants before right unkillables at that and they all died and so for me i have said that i'm not interested i don't want to be a plant mom no more i don't want to be a plant mom drop me out so for me personally i'm gonna aim to have like a lot of artificial kind of plants dotted about i can't be bothered to always be watering always be feeding them always be like changing their pots and stuff it's not for me and on this journey i think I really want to accept um, and acknowledge things that are not for me because I do feel like in the past I have noticed that certain things aren't for me but maybe because everyone else is doing it or because it's popular I end up doing it and I don't want to do that anymore so for example gym y'all know maybe you don't know but i've been going to the gym on and off i want to say for about 10 11 years now i'll be really consistent for like a couple months and then i will fall off and then it'll i'll just fall off for ages and then go back and da, da, da. but when i look back on that journey i'm not a fan of gym um i love the feeling that it would give me you know staying fit and all of that you feel good internally mentally and all of that but I don't like the idea of gym. Gym is not for me. So what I'm currently at present thinking, firstly, I want to get back into fitness because I haven't like properly worked out, I want to say since February, March, which is really bad. Um, so at present, I'm thinking of two things, either joining like a specific class, so like Pilates or yoga or something. But I think that Pilates are really good, especially if you want to turn up. I'm not going to lie, like, um, I wouldn't say that I've, like, okay, I want to tone up, like, I want to get fit, I want to feel good internally, and I want to tone up, so I'm thinking, like, Pilates, or, I'm thinking about maybe facing my fears, and I have a really massive fear of swimming, now, I know that to some of y'all, it's going to sound really ridiculous, especially if you're watching this from the UK. You're going to be like, why do you not know how to swim? There's a reason for that. So here in the UK, um, well, I don't know if they still do it now, but in primary school, I can't remember how old I was in primary school, but way under 10, I'm assuming. Um, they used to do compulsory swimming lessons at school, right? And... I went to those lessons and I believe it was either the first or the second lesson I almost drowned and my mom got wind of that and she was like nope it's not my daughter that y'all are gonna kill she's not doing swim lessons anymore so internally what happened was I didn't learn how to swim and not only that but I also have a fear of swimming so I want to make that very clear I don't have a fear of water for example I like when I'm on holiday I can walk in water i love boat rides like i really love boat rides but to actually swim i have a fear like even me talking about it is making me feel really nervous and thinking about the idea of me swimming a few years ago i did try to combat that fear and i joined swimming lessons like a swimming class right but those lessons weren't helpful so i think after the second one i just left it because imagine having a phobia of swimming right and you've joined a class and everyone is on different levels you've got some people that are beginners some people that are intermediate some people that are doing backflips and stuff and you are shit scared of swimming it's not very helpful so i'm due to go away soon for my best mate's 30th birthday and i did make a promise that i would learn how to swim by then i really hope i'm not gonna break my promise but one thing that i will definitely do is even if i don't get to necessarily do lessons i do want to at least like walking around in the pool you know with my girls and stuff but anyway in terms of my fitness that's basically what i'm thinking of right now so let me know in the comment section below please what kind of ideas that you have for me like that don't involve gym because i believe there are so many ways to get fit 
and it doesn't necessarily have to be gym and i feel like a lot of people don't even like gym but they just go just because everyone else is doing it um don't suggest jogging either i don't like jogging skipping i do like so i know i couldn't do skipping and even if i didn't want to go out out i feel like i have enough space to like here to like skip but that's where we're out like i really want to take my health seriously and not only that but i really want to live a life where i'm doing things that i genuinely love and i'm not just doing things just because everyone else is doing that which brings me on to another topic like tiktok those of y'all that are following me on tiktok you would know um so i joined tiktok i can't remember when i joined tiktok but within about six months i got about eighteen thousand followers and it was cool and it was awesome and i do not know what happened I just started to lose interest in being on there and so i took a break and then i came back and i took a break and then i came back and i just can't be bothered um i think tiktok is a very great tool for you to gain popularity very quickly it's a great way to connect with people and to talk to people but again for me i've just noticed that for some reason i don't feel good anymore being on tiktok so going forward i mean i might change my mind in due time but for now i'm not gonna be on tiktok i'm not gonna be posting so i might be liking and commenting but for the most part i'm looking to be on here predominantly and on instagram and twitter because it's important that i do what is best for me which also brings me on to my final topic I love how I said final topic, but trust me, like everything I'm saying has been unplanned. Like I'm literally freestyling, like God is just blessing me to just be able to say everything that's on my mind and on my chest and on my heart. Um, but yeah, going forward, what you guys can expect from me on this channel. So for the most part, I'm known to do lock videos and I do enjoy doing lock videos. However, I do feel that I want to focus more on expanding this year. I've kind of dipped my toe here and there into expanding and doing like travel content here and there and chit chat videos here and there. But literally going forward after this video, y'all will be seeing a mixture of things from me. So I'll still be doing my lock videos, but maybe I might do something random like a sit down and chit chat video like today or travel videos or maybe i might want to give advice or talk about something that's happening in life you know i want people to come to this channel and feel good do you know what i'm saying whether that's you watching me traveling and i'm sharing my experiences with you or i'm trying to motivate you and encourage you and trying to get you to embrace who you really are or me sharing like hair tips whatever it may be there's so many different sides to me and i feel that this channel doesn't necessarily reflect that and I want for my content to be reflecting that so that's what y'all can expect from me I'm gonna also try my best to fix up with my lives you know and try it and do a live I'm not gonna set myself an amount yet but let's just say minimum at least once a month just so that I can sit down and talk to y'all and all of that good stuff but yeah, honestly, I'm in such a good space and I wanted to come on camera and I wanted to share that with you because I've made many videos in the past where I've spoken about low moods and being depressed and losing my job and things not going well in my life and talking about what I want for myself in my life. And one thing that I've really learned is, you know what, there's power in the tongue, there's power in self-belief, there's power in putting in hard work, there's power in creating vision boards and literally, if you want Want to do something so as long as you put the work in you're praying you're speaking it into existence and you're really believing in yourself even when people don't believe in you trust me you can honestly achieve anything that is that you want to achieve and i'm gonna be real with y'all like i'm trying to take over this youtube space do you know what i mean and i was having a think last night when i was watching i think i was watching heinz so like heinz is one of my favorite youtube content creators well i've got a variety of favorite youtube content creators from kelly stamps to wooden Meyer to tyler Aina to miss trudy i have so many people that i love watching for different reasons on this platform but i was watching a video from heinz i believe it was and he was basically talking about you know people 
want a certain life for themselves there's certain things that they want to achieve but they allow fear to basically hold them back or self-doubt to hold them back and it's like i thought to myself while i was listening to him talk that there's so many things that i want to do for myself and i'm saying it and i'm kind of putting half and half-hearted energy in i'm not doing that no more y'all so y'all are gonna be sick of this face very soon honestly i just wanted to share all of this with y'all i'm gonna dash off now because i need to do a food shop and i need to link up with my brother but thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for those of you that have been rocking with me for years i hope that no matter what content that i put out y'all don't desert me um i know that a lot of you love me for solely my look content and you might not be happy that i'm kind of diverting a little bit away but Listen, um, I believe that in life we all evolve, um, our beliefs evolve, our interests evolve, we grow as a person daily, the person that you are yesterday is not the person that you are today and honestly I want my channel to be a reflection of that. So y'all, I just want to say thank you and until my next video, take care, be good.